Okay, there is so much uncertainty in the overall cryptocurrency markets right now, with stocks and crypto absolutely plummeting in value over the last couple of months. So this is going to be a video that you definitely are going to want to watch to the very end. Because in this video, I'm going to be going over a variety of different ways and specific strategies that I personally use to make $800 to $1,000 per week passively in the cryptocurrency and stock markets. More specifically in DeFi and crypto in general, because that is where most of the money is right now for passive income. What it is, what I do, I'm Kyle with Finance Bro. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all ready today because we're going to learn specific passive income strategies that you guys are not going to want to miss. Make sure you smash the like button and the subscribe button so you guys never miss a new video that we post every single day. If you want to start this passive income journey, I recommend picking up some literally free money with the first link down in the description below. Public.com is an amazing social investing app that allows you to see what other people are buying and selling in both the stock and crypto markets. All you have to do is hit that first link, sign up, make an account, and deposit at least a dollar and you guys can get a free stock that could be worth up to $300. Now in this video, I'm going to be walking you step by step through a variety of different platforms, ideas, and strategies that everybody seems to be using nowadays to make that great passive income. Now one of the first ways that you can make passive income within cryptocurrency is of course with staking. Now if you're unfamiliar with staking, we just recently made a huge video going over in detail what staking is, but for a quick refresher, it's basically where you take cryptocurrency that you currently own and lock it up for a period of time. In that lockup period, you basically earn a certain interest rate on that cryptocurrency and you won't be able to touch that cryptocurrency. You won't be able to buy more, sell more, or do anything with it until that lockup period is over. Once it's over, however, though, then you can do whatever you want with it. In the meantime, though, you're going to be earning some pretty great interest. We're talking anywhere from seven to eight to nine to even on some platforms, 15%. You know how insane that is, guys? 15% interest rate. Your bank account gets like 0.001% interest. Talk about a good deal. Now, the way staking kind of works in this essence is basically that you're giving your coin a protocol that allows the blockchain to essentially be more secure. And because of your loyalty to the blockchain and your willingness to provide those coins in the first place, you get the reward of the interest. This is ideally one of the lowest risk strategies and obviously the most potentially rewarding one because the more money you put into that specific staked position, the more money you will get out of it monthly. It's kind of like dividends in the stock market, but in my opinion, it's even better. One of the other benefits of this as well is that it allows you to have more of a long-term thesis on how you're holding these specific cryptocurrencies and be more of a long-term investor in these positions. You can't panic sell because of course that money is locked up in that cryptocurrency position and you can't touch it for a specific given amount of time. An even cooler thing too is that most platforms offer specific stable coin offerings. Stable coins of course being coins that are extremely stable because they are pegged to things like the US dollar. Stuff like USDT or USDC are great examples of this and what most people are putting their money into and staking those specific coins to earn interest. If I'm not mistaken, I believe on crypto.com, you can earn somewhere between 10% interest on your specific staked position, which is pretty impressive. Again, you can stake a variety of different cryptos. It doesn't just have to be stable coins. There's all types of different projects that you can stake your money with. It's entirely possible to build a full monthly income off of staking. And of course, again, you could potentially do that for yourself literally today, right now. Some really popular platforms that you can do a decent amount of staking on and earn pretty good yields as well include crypto.com, Celsius, and of course, BlockFi. Now, again, there are risks to this do not get me wrong some of this lockup period stuff if that coin was to say get rug pulled or something crazy was to happen you could potentially lose some money there but again that's why i only stake really popular well-known well-vetted cryptocurrency projects i'm talking about ethereum avax solana and even of course stable coins like i mentioned before now speaking of buying crypto guys if you actually want to have another platform that you can literally do any kind of buying on crypto i recommend getting signed up with public.com use our first link down in the description below and you potentially get a free stock that could be worth up to 300 dollars plus you can start trading on that app as soon as you get signed up and it's a great place to be. Now this would not be a complete video if I didn't acknowledge some of the risks that this could involve. Now there are of course several drawbacks to staking crypto, one of those being that you cannot touch those coins for a given amount of time. Well I did say yes that is a bit of a benefit if you want to be more of a long term investor. It could be a little bit scary if you're in a position where you either need to pull that money out as soon as possible or if the cryptocurrency project goes a completely different direction that you were expecting and you're trying to get out really quick. Again you can't touch that money until that lockup period is up and some of those lockup periods can last anywhere from one week to three months but again guys the caveat here is to just pick projects that you are actually passionate about you're well researched on and you understand the long-term thesis if you understand the long-term thesis of these different projects and you're a long-term investor you shouldn't be worried about these little price fluctuations or these different things that are happening now i will say you can offer a more flexible term option within these lockup periods however you're not going to earn the great yields that we were talking about in the beginning of this video again there's kind of trade-offs for 
all this stuff but if you want to be a little bit more liquid or a little bit more applicable to be liquid you can go with the flexible term option now again to make decent returns you probably also are saying well don't i need to have like a decent amount of money invested in the first place to do that and while yes you do need that of course these returns are still going to be a lot better than your average returns in the stock market it's pretty incredible to see that we can literally make 12 percent a year or even beyond that just by investing a little bit of money to begin with even though the stock market has been crazily out of control lately and not really making much money for anybody but again that's the overall thesis of investing to begin with if you want to make more money you have to invest more money right it's the whole point again it seems like crypto more and more has been offering all types of different ways to beat the average returns of the s p 500 on a day-to-day -day basis and it's incredible that we live in a time and period where most cryptocurrency projects are applicable to of course outperform the s p 500 and beyond and of course i don't think any of this is really going anywhere anytime soon it only seems like web 3 DeFi, and crypto in general is only increasing in popularity as the days go by now one of the other very interesting ways that i'm going to get into a little bit is actually about lending your crypto out and of course earning interest on that as well that's right people who want loans specifically backed by your cryptocurrency can take out loans and of course they pay you binge now lending is a little bit different than staking considering the fact that you can basically take your money out whenever you want now you aren't really going to see those amazing returns that we talked about with staking however lending seems to be a little bit more flexible option for you guys it's super user friendly very easy to do and overall it's pretty low risk one of the only biggest risks being though is that of course if somebody doesn't necessarily pay you back however there are certain incentive programs and overall ways that they keep that from happening one of the interesting things now guys is if you actually look at ave protocol they've been doing something recently with crypto lending they have over 24 billion dollars of assets in their liquidity protocol they have a bunch of different markets that you can actively lend on as well you might also see something on this website called market amm so amm basically stands for automated market makers this market allows you to use ip tokens specifically as collateral now you're probably wondering what the heck is an ip token an ip token is essentially when you provide liquidity to amm and so uniswap for example you could receive a percentage of the trading fees and the reward to you in an ip token you can use these ip tokens of course when you're borrowing i know this might be a little bit confusing and not in depth so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss future videos where we do full breakdown videos on how you can lend your crypto again there's a bunch of different ways that we can make cryptocurrency passive income but this video would literally be six hours long and i don't want to waste your guys time too much here again the cryptocurrency markets are volatile do not get me wrong it's very risky sometimes to invest your money like this and a lot of people are probably pretty nervous but for those who are looking for good opportunities and potentially the future of investing i really think that DeFi and cryptocurrency in general is the way to go i'm very excited to see how this industry continues to expand and what new offerings we're going to see more and more with staking and of course crypto lending let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this and if you're currently doing any of this make sure to hit that second link down in the description below too if you guys want to join our private discord hit the first one for some free money with a free stock from public but other than that guys that's all i have for you guys today i'm kyle with finance bro take it easy